All right, so it's another Friday and we're doing a housekeeping day. One thing I do when you run a business, you gotta keep your trucks clean. And you know, you can either pay somebody to do that, which technically I'm doing, or you can do it yourself, which is technically I'm doing, it's a little bit of both. So what we do is we buy all the stuff to have it for commercial setup, and then we start washing all the trucks, down to the vacuums, down to the stuff. We keep a whole equipment shelf of stuff in our, well, keep a whole, I call it a fluid shelf because I got everything on there. But uh, this is how you wash trucks. So instead of spending, I don't know, 50 to 100 bucks a truck, whatever a detailer might charge to come out, we just do it ourselves. And then you get to buy cool things like this, this, Ruby pressure washer. And uh, it's doing a great job. Let's take one more look. This time. And there you go. So if we wash three trucks, our fourth one broke down, of course. That, you know, it's basically anywhere from $150 to $300 savings, depending on the level of cleanliness we do with it. And with the pollen going right now, we gotta clean them, they get dirty. So we start with the outside, do the inside, and move on. And we'll probably end up throwing an oil change on this bad boy today, just for giggles. And that's how you save money washing trucks. Real simple. There you go, you're getting there. See, you can soak the truck like normal, or you can do it the spotting way with our professional pressure washer. That's how you soak down heavy duty trucks that are really, really big, like ridiculously big, and get really bad fuel mileage, which is what we all love. But honestly, if you get bad fuel mileage, I don't care. Every diesel that we own gets like 15 miles a gallon, no matter what we do. I think this one gets a little less. It's probably pushing 13 if I had to guess because the tires, but it was pushing 10 until we fixed that fuel leak in, another, in a previous video. And what you didn't see, if you didn't see it, is check out the license plate. Obama 7-3. And something cool that we also do, just because I like throwing all kinds of things in my video, of things that we implement. In a previous video, which I don't have posted yet, but I gotta do that, we rehab the inside of this trailer. And we're powering everything with a generator. Blender generator. And uh, it'll also power my whole entire house, which is cool. And the concept of the generator is we power everything outside with the generator. That way, when I go to use it, if your power actually goes out, my generator works. So instead of running power out here, just do a generator. And 9,000 starting watts, 7,250 running watts goes good. Tristan, how do you like washing trucks with the fun stuff? I love washing trucks with the fun stuff. It's better than a garden hose. Exactly. How do you like coming to work playing with toys all the time? I love it. What's your I favorite? Let me rephrase that real quick. I love coming to work. <laughs> What's your favorite tool to play with at work? Uh, probably Bertha. Bertha, you gotta tell them what Bertha is. Bertha is our big heavy duty drill that we use for pre-wire. It'll cut through studs, honestly, like a hot knife through butter. It's about $400, and in the first month alone, it pays for itself to save man hours. Oh, God, yes. We'll have to do a whole, we'll have to do a review on that one, man. I love that drill, too.
So Mama's joined us now. And this is when all the trouble starts. <laughs> Remember that influence to adults. You yep. know that influence to kids. We both have our, you know... Hey, things. I'm the best dad ever. No. I still well, don't... Well, you are the best dad, but you are the worst influence. Whatever. <laughs> I, you can throw water on kids in Walgreens and it's fine. Okay? I, still... I don't know who raised you... But they did not do a good job. I don't still, I don't get what the problem was still. Like, all right, you tell your mama wolf that I said she wasn't, she, that wasn't good. You can tell her she's out in heaven. Oh, no, I'm talking about the wolves that raised you. Oh, my I'm mama not, wolves? I'm not blaming that woman. Look, guys, this is a true story. So, I don't know how to explain this, but I was born in a jungle. And they used to call me Mowgli. And I had, I was friends with a bear. It's a true story. They, they made a movie about it. It's all <laughs> over the world. And, uh, you know, except I wasn't like that. You know, I was a white kid doing this, you know, raised by wolves, you know, and we had Siri being wolves too. I was like, Hey Siri, turn off the den light. And it did. And it was pretty cool. So hey man, that's how it was. They just left a few things out. That's Ooh, all. Hat. Where are you going? <laughs> Don't mind me. Don't mind me at all. So make me do you like Chris Rock now. Oh! Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It really just never ends when you own a business. You can do anything from advertising to quotes to washing trucks, to fixing trucks, designing to accounting. Just pick your day when you're self-employed and you get to be that profession from a tech, sales, advertising, accountant, mechanic, human resources. I mean, if you got more lists to go on, just go on because I've running out of things but the cool thing is like i said we always got commercial stuff to do everything we do and this is how you really start the truck forget all that and soaking it got things to do Really, a lot of this is honestly fun for me because if you're a business owner, a lot of times you're ADD, and I'm completely ADD. Like I'll either be doing something different, or I just I don't want to do it. So I'm going to start it off like this. I sent out a quote for a quarter of a million dollars, my first quarter of a million dollar quote I sent out, and then. Tristan came over, had to start washing trucks. We cleaned out our shed behind us. You can see that there. Put doors on it, temporary doors. Also, we upgraded the, uh, the fluid shelf. First, I put some doors on this thing. $2 tarps or something at Harbor Freight, because, you know, about time I did that. Then we cleaned her out a little bit actually getting kind of organized this is the fluid shelf so what i did have is just this side that came with this place so then i took my dewalt electric nail gun and my dewalt saw and upcycled this old door i should have done a picture of it 
and uh, it was original to our house. And I made it into a shelf. Got my gut cycling. And I'll probably uh, do some more cool stuff in here. And then instead of spending a ton of money indoors right now, I just did this. I'm gonna build it myself, of course. It's no fun on doing anything unless you do it yourself. Well, on some things. But I got us temporary doors and this will work. It may not be perfect, but it'll help block the rain on crazy days. And it's better than nothing. So what are you gonna do? Shit. 